so today I'm going to be um, talking about uh, doing wrestling movie reviews um, like I do every now and then. So today I'm going to be talking about um, WCW Uncensored 1999. Let's see that. So it's uh, March 14th of 1999. Um, so this one here is, um, Ric Flair versus Hollywood Hogan inside a cage match to decide the future of WCW. Um, so pretty much, um, if, uh, the Nature Boy is, uh, victorious, he wins the pre president's, pres, pres, let me say that again, president's. P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-C-Y from Eric Bischoff plus the uh, World Heavyweight Champ uh, the World Heavyweight Belt um, for the um, President 14th time. So if he wins, he'd be the 14th time um, Heavyweight Champion. Um, so a loss, however, will result in his forced Retirement, um, banished by the scheming NWO. Um, so if Ric Flair loses that match in the cage, um, then you pretty much, you know, he's um, banished. He's forced to retire. Um, plus there's um, on this as well, there's a David and Goliath match. Um, Kevin Nash versus... Ray Mysterio Jr. Um, that one there was quite interesting. Um, and after there's a dog collar match between Chris Jericho um, and Saturn. Um, so I think this was uh, Chris Jericho had a oh what's his name that came down to the ring with him. This was in w, yeah, WCW in those days. Um, what's his name? Um, he was a big guy, um, Rufus, I think that's what his name was. Um, but yeah, he, uh, that one there was quite interesting. Um, and then after there's a TV title match between Booker T and Scott Steiner. Um, that one there was quite, quite interesting. Um, Booker T against Scott Steiner for the, uh, title. Um, plus there's other matches like Billy Kidman versus Mikey Whipwreck, um, for the WCW Cruiserweight Champion belt. Um, that one there, yeah, I remember Mick, uh, Mikey Whipwreck, yeah, against Billy Kidman. Um, that one there was quite an interesting match. Um, and then there was another one which I, I found was really quite interesting. Um. So we have Stevie Ray, um, who used to be, uh, before this in WCW, used to be uh, Harlem Heat with his brother uh, Booker T. So they used to be, um, you know, they used to be um, Harlem Heat. But then once uh, Stevie Ray, this was around, you know, the time when he was in um, uh, NWL. So he faced off against Vincent. Um, who was also in the NWO. Um, if anybody you seen WCW probably would know who that is. If not, um, he, he used to be in the um, WWF uh, before this um, as uh, Virgil. And he was um, who, uh, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase's. Um, he used to, you know, um, hold his belt from, he used to be like his manager. Um, until, you know, Virgil later on went on his own in the WWF around 90, 91 sometime, 92, um, until 90, 94, I think he left the WWF, um, but yeah, so he, you know, went to WCW, um, until, you know, NWO was starting, um, or not long after that. 
But yeah, that that there was quite a bit interesting match, a street fight, Harlem street fight. So I, the thing I, I love about you know matches like those, street fights, are like anything goes. They can all of a sudden start in the ring, and then all of a sudden they're like um, out, you know, out um, where the fans are, and then they can you know be outside. It's just those matches are like kind of like unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen. But yeah, that, that match there was quite interesting. So whoever won that uh, match um, would, you know, win the leadership of um, the NWO Black and White. Um, so around that time, I think they, uh, this was, you know, 99. So I think around that time, I think they had NWO um, Black and Red, you know, the Diff, Diff Wolf Pack. That one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's... Uh, anyway, and then after that, there was a match, um, Jerry Flynn versus Ernest Miller and Sonny Ono in a handicap match. Um, so Jerry Flynn, I think Jerry Flynn and Ernest Miller had a, a few, I remember, you know, watching it back then, that was like 99, um, 90, you know, uh, had a few going on, them two, um, quite interesting, um. But yeah, a handicap match, but really it was kind of like a one, one-on-one -on -one match between Jerry Flynn and Ernest, Ernest Miller. Um, but yeah, Sonny Ono, he managed, oh man, in WCW, so many different wrestlers um, in WCW. But that match there was quite interesting. And then there was a, after another match, um, what's it, H-A-K, Hack? Um... Who used to be, um, in e, if anybody's familiar with um, ECW, if you're familiar with ECW, um, anybody that's familiar with ECW, he used to be, um, I'm not mis I think, yeah, uh, Sandman in ECW. And, um, but yeah, it was him versus Bam Bam Bigelow versus Raven. Um, all three of them actually used to wrestle in ECW, I think, 90, was it 99 or 98, sometime, I know, Bam Bam Bigelow, you know, went to, you know, I remember before this when he wrestled in uh, WWF, I was watching it there, I remember watching him when he was in the WWF, uh, but yeah, so um, all of them had, you know, um, Bam Bam Bigelow um, and Raven, all of them against each other in a false count anywhere anywhere match. So that one there was very, very interesting. So that was kind of like a, also, I would say that's kind of like an, um, it can, you know, end up starting, like I said in the other match there. It could start in the ring um, and then go on all the way, you know, it could go in the streets, in the parking lot, who knows, like any, you know, false count anywhere, you know, um, but that was quite interesting, and then there was another, after that match, there was a Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko, um, versus Kurt Henning and Barry Windham, in a lumberjack match for the WCW World Tag Team Titles. Um, that there was quite interesting. Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko against... Dean Malenko, I remember watching you know, when he was in WCW. I think there's a, he was a man of a thousand... Was it a thousand holes he knew? Um, something like that. Lots, yeah. Um, because I remember, you know... And then I remember when they came to the WWE back in, you know, two, 2000... 2000, I think, yeah. Uh, but no, that, that match there was very interesting. Lumberjack match. Um, so, which that there is pretty much, you know, like a tag team match. Um, but if they get thrown out out of the ring, you have all these different other wrestlers. It must be at least, I would say, maybe 20 wrestlers. Or, there's quite a bit. Um, quite a 15, I don't know. There's quite a bit of wrestlers outside the ring. So, if they get thrown out, they throw them back in the ring um, until until somebody wins the match. Um, that that there was quite interesting. The whole thing, so all those matches there, man. That was 
very, very, you know, very interesting match there. Um, very interesting. Um, and then, like I said, yeah, um, Booker T against uh, Scott Steiner. I think I did mention that one. Uh, but yeah, I, I, the matches I found that were quite interesting on this on this um, pay per view. You know, this uh, uncensored here was that was really good. Was you know I would have to say you know Hollywood Hogan against um, Ric Flair in the seal cage match like that. That was a good match. Um, and the one I found quite interesting was Chris Jericho against um, Saturn in a uh, dog uh, dog collar match which. They were, you know, a chain, they were a chain tied to each other. You know, like that, that there was quite, quite interesting. So they could use it as a weapon in that, but that was quite interesting. Um, really good. And then I found uh, the one, um, any false count anywhere match. I found that one was really interesting as well as a Harlem street fight. Uh, that as well, so... Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to uh, hit that thumbs up. Um, so next I'm going to talk about another one. And I'm going to try to do two more after this. Um, but um, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, bye.